Okay, so Bill Nye, I love you and all, like really love you, but are you sure debating a creationist is a good idea? I'm not. Hello, hello everyone, Lacey Green here. You probably heard by now that Bill Nye is scheduled to bring a science smackdown in a debate about evolution with Ken Ham, the founder of Kentucky's Creationist Museum, in a couple of weeks. Ken Ham extended the invitation after the Science Guy's viral video, Creationism is not appropriate for children, and Nye accepted. The debate has garnered nationwide attention, and the event itself sold out in minutes. What I wouldn't give to be there. Since the news hit, there's been another huge debate amongst pro-education, pro-science folk like myself about whether or not this is a good idea. There's been an outcry of people who think the debate is actually a bad idea for a few reasons. One, evolution isn't really a debate. Of the 480,000 Earth and life scientists, all but 700 find evolution uncontroversial. Nearly every scientific society in the world has issued statements specifically rejecting creationism. Evolution is also uncontroversial amongst the majority of the population these days. 60% of people understand that humans have evolved over time. Evolution is controversial, however, to those who find it at odds with their religious faith, and faith without evidence shouldn't be equated with science. To do so kind of delegitimizes the scientists. The second objection regards Nye's expertise. Ham is a seasoned debater, and Nye isn't. Debating is a skill in itself. Doing it well doesn't always rely on being right. Could Nye's debating abilities make evolution seem like a weaker theory among scientists than it actually is? The last objection, you can't change the minds of those who don't want to learn, so why even bother? Especially when the debate itself will be held in and raising money for the Creationist Museum. Some have argued that the debate is in effect feeding the trolls, trolls being young earth creationists who believe the earth is only 6,000 years old and that humans have always existed in our present form. Other science advocates take a different approach. Hey folks, maybe it ain't so bad. After all, Bill Nye is one of the few celebrity scientists who really has a respected voice. Most of us grew up watching him on PBS and in science class, right? He's not gonna change the minds of those at the debate, but his fans will be tuning in and having conversations about it, so in that Way, it'll be educational, and that's what it's all about, right? There's also the fact that the real debate is in peer-reviewed journals and labs, and creationism is currently losing there. So regardless of what happens, this probably won't have a huge effect on science education as a whole. And then there's the fact that it promises to be incredibly entertaining. I do enjoy a good hurrah for science, as well as a good debate, but on the whole, I kind of have mixed feelings, particularly about the part where the whole thing provides financial support for anti-science forces that are actively working to teach religious theories like creationism in grade schools. Mmm, not a fan. So what do you guys think about the debate? Good idea? Bad idea? Couldn't care less? Let me know down below or read about it at the Discovery News article that I've linked in the description. I'll see you next time.